Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. I got me a nice little hot coffee here, a little bit of eggnog, a warmth. It's Christmas time. It's time to enjoy ourselves. I think this one should be for the little children tonight. It's called Twas the Night Before Christmas. And this is how I hear it every time I listen to it in my head. I hope you enjoy it. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, and hopes of St. Nicholas soon will be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. I waved to the window, I flew like a flash, I threw open the shutters, and I threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow had given luster to midday to the objects below. When what to my wondering eyes did appear, but a miniature sleigh, and ain't tiny reindeer, oh my! With a little old driver, ah, oh, lovely and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. <laughs> More rapid than eagles, his course is their name. As he whistled and shouted, he called him by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, and Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with no obstacle, they mount to the sky. <laughs> so up on the house top, the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. <laughs> And then in the twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney he came without a bound. <laughs> he, he was just all in fur from his head to his foot, and his curls were all choice with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. And he looked like a peddler with just opening his pack. <laughs> his eyes, they how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses and his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And he had a little chin and it was all full of snow. The stump on the pipe he held tight in his teeth. And the smoke in encircled his head like a wreath. <laughs> it was funny. He had a broad face and a little round belly, and he shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I thought when I saw him, all spite of myself, a wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word. He went right to his work. And he filled out a stocking, and then he turned with a jerk, and laying his finger upside his nose, he gave a big nod, and up the chimney he rose. He sprang to a sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the bell on a thistle. But I heard him explain as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to you all, and to all a good night. Ha, 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 ha. Merry Christmas, everybody, from my house to yours. Bye-bye.